targeted therapy has to do with interfering with the, ways that, the way that cells communicate. And when cancer tumors form, um, many of the molecules within a cancer cell have to talk to each other for the cells to continue to divide and for tumors to grow. Targeted therapy has to do with getting in the way of those lines of communication, and that stops the cancer growth for quite some time. The upside of targeted therapy in many cases is that it's highly efficacious in large percentages of patients. The downside of targeted therapy in many cases is that it stops working after a time because even if you cut a line of communication within a cell so that it cannot grow, uh, over time cells develop ways to get around that and figure out how to grow even in the presence of the drug, and that of course is resistance, drug resistance. In the human body, cells that make up any of our organs need to communicate with each other to perform their normal functions. The same is true of cancer cells, except cancer cells communicate in ways that they should not be. And so targeted therapy relies on that communication and gets in the way and cuts those lines of communication within cancer cells. Mm -hmm.